Hi, I'm Kate O'Hare in the Sangoma and you're very welcome to the Sangoma TV. So as promised, I am going to run a series of videos and it, these videos will help you with self-awareness through meditation and visualization. And um, the reasons why we would do something like meditation um, would be because um, when we project ourselves out so much in life, i.e. being busy and participating in life, it can become exhausting and uh, we can be all over the place. So the benefits then of coming in and doing something like a meditation just realigns you and uh, helps you to go back onto the path of flow and least resistance. So um, what do you need? Well, really what you need is a dedication to yourself so dedicating a certain time um, for me I prefer the morning time to um, help me start the day in the right frame of mind and also in the you know an upbeat energy and ready to face the world um, then if I have a very busy day I'd like to come in and maybe just unwind and just release some of the the worries or the stresses that I've had during the day. So what you need is a space, um, preferably a space away from the rest of the family. Um, it could be a space outside. I'm just choosing it here um, today, but sometimes I sit outside. Um, you might like to have music in the background. Sometimes I just open the window and listen to the birds. Or if I'm sitting outside, I'm just being surrounded by nature. So whatever it is that yeah, makes you feel as if you're stepping away from the norm in life. Um, do you need things like candles or incense? No, not necessarily. Um, certainly they add to the atmosphere and the subconscious mind knows that you're coming in and you're switching off a little time. So there are nice cues to the subconscious, but not necessary. So it costs nothing to to do this type of work for yourself. And when I say work, it's not work, it's self-awareness. Self-awareness means getting to know yourself beyond what others and what the world expect of you. So how are we going to achieve that? Well, over the next coming videos, we will be going through these centers that you've heard me mention before called the chakras. And each chakra has a seat of consciousness and it also pertains to certain areas of your life. So by the end of this series of videos, so there'll be eight altogether, including this video, you'll have built up a repertoire of um, visualization techniques and um, mindfulness techniques, self-awareness techniques, and that you can tip in and out or you can build on the full, the full set of seven. Um, so if you're not already receiving these videos, please put your name and email in the uh, box above my head and I will see you next month for your first video and we will be starting with the root chakra. So we're looking forward to seeing you then. Bye.